Hey guys, Andy with Andy's Auto Care. I just wanted to go over something. Uh, you probably saw it by the title there. This is Trim Restore. This is an extreme case. I'm working on a Chevy Avalanche. If you own a Chevy Avalanche, I hope you're watching this video because this will save your, I don't know, save your life, whatever you can call that. It will make things a lot easier on you and it'll make your vehicle look so much better. Um, hopefully you guys like that little before and after picture I did on the, the, the head, header or whatever. Um, thumbnail, that's what it's called. Um, I'll, I'm gonna, about halfway through this video, I'll show a little before and after video of, of the vehicle we're working on as well. Um, right now, if you don't know this product, it's Solution Finish, okay? This is what the bottle will end up looking at like after a while, just know. Uh, anyway, this is, I just cracked open for the second time actually, my new bottle. Um, uh, I want to start by talking about what to apply it with, that sort of thing. Um, I love these microfiber covered applicators. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hook you up with links to everything I'm talking about in the description down below, just so you guys know, so you guys can just make it really easy. You guys can click on those. It'll take you straight to Amazon. You guys can purchase them right there. And if you've got Amazon Prime, get two day shipping. Well, actually probably not right now, but anyway. Uh, so these are my favorite applicators right here. It just works the best. You can see this is what they turn into is covered in this stuff. Um, this is what they start like. Um, this is, I've been using this one the whole time. I've never actually had to use my second one. So um, yeah, that and a little paintbrush. Pretty simple or like a little brush like this. This is just a mother's brush. Or if you ain't got that, just get yourself a little toothbrush. The reason being is because sometimes black trim has like a little lettering, you gotta go around that sort of thing. So anyway, we're gonna get into the actual process, that sort of thing. Um, one thing I do wanna say as a tip though, uh, if you're working on around a painted, around painted area, you see behind me, this is for a Chevy Avalanche. So these are the pieces that I took out of the back, the bed. Um, so these obviously aren't around paint, right? So I don't have to worry about it. But on the vehicle, you're working on black trim that's around paint. So I'm gonna give you a little tip with that. Wax the vehicle first, okay? Whether it's a spray wax, whatever. Uh, I would recommend Bead Maker just because I love that stuff. It makes it really, really easy to clean up afterwards, the, the over wipe or whatever. You don't wanna do it on like untreated paint that doesn't have any sort of wax that'll stick to the paint and kind of stain it a little bit. So keep that in mind, that's a really important tip. Um, so now when applying it, it's really super easy to use. You can get professional results at home, or if you are a professional watching this video, hopefully you guys do pick up a bottle, uh, the bigger bottle, um, because it, it's amazing. It's great stuff for, you, it's a must have if you're a professional, basically. And if you're an at home enthusiast, just buy the little small bottle, it'll last you a really long time. So, all right, we're gonna go straight into this over here. So basically what I do is I put a little bit on the applicator like that. Obviously this has got it kind of saturated in there a little bit, but uh, so first off, I do want to say that these, I cleaned them, they're obviously dry. Uh, you, you want to do this on a, a clean, a dry, uh, cool surface, you know? You don't want to do it on out in the sun, in the heat, that sort of thing, if you can avoid it. It'll still work, but for the best results, you want to do it, you know, covered, that sort of thing. Um, and then you're going to want to let it sit on there for about at least two minutes, I would say. Uh, so that it has full time to soak in there. All right, so I got plenty on there. A little does go a long way on this, guys. And you can see immediately just the difference. I mean, it's almost like I'm painting it. I mean, it, sometimes I feel like I am painting when I, especially when I'm using that little, that little brush I got. When it starts to get dry, you'll know. Add a little bit more on there. But I put this little tape line up here just so you can see exactly We'll get that little dramatic effect at the end, that sort of thing. It's gonna take some time, especially if you got a Chevy Avalanche. It's gonna take time to really, you know, of working it in there, that sort of thing. If you just got a car with a little bit of black trim, obviously it's not gonna take as much. It's gonna be a lot quicker. There's a great maintainer too. After you do the full restore, just put a little bit on this. You won't even need as much. You just put this on there every time after you wash it and it's dry. Put some of this on there. It's a great maintainer. So there you go. That's that little spot right there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a, not an old junkie microfiber. I don't really want to say that, but that's what I was thinking. That was my first thought. But 
This originally was clean. It's just I've been using it on this whole vehicle. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually just toss these when I'm done. Rinse them out really good with like warm water to try to get some of this out. But uh, I just take a basic Kirk Kirkland towel. I'll try to link those down in the bottom too. Or go to your local Costco, you can get some, whatever. So now that I got this, it's almost sat for two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. It's basically just matting it down so you don't have any like tacky residue or you know sliminess to it at all. Now that's dry to the touch. And after you mat it down, I mean, this is so saturated, I'm not gonna get it all, but you'd probably be using a lot cleaner towel, use a couple of them, whatever you need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this tape line. There you go. I think that speaks for itself. That's actually gonna last. I've had amazing results with this stuff too. I mean, I've, had, I've seen vehicles where it's came back six months later and it still looks pretty darn good. So if you wanna restore like a pro, that's what you need, you need solution finish. Hopefully you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next video.